starting with the front seat, stretch the seat cover out and pull it over top of the seat back and pull it past the headrest. The cover should be somewhat centered up. Any fine adjustments can be done once it's in position afterwards. When installing the seat cover, you may find it's a little easier to move your seat in a different position and elevate it if possible. Seat covers are a great way to cover up any damaged seats, give your vehicle a custom look, and protect your seats from fading, cracking, or dirt. Once you've covered up the seat back, you must now feed the retaining pad so it's able to take form to the seat's back contour. This needs to be fed between the seat back and base. Again, this is a more slightly complicated procedure with this seat as I do have a separate cover for the back. On most seat designs, you will be able to easily feed this through with your hand. Considering I do have trim on the sides of the seat base along with the power seat controls, the seat cover will need to be fed in behind this. You may need to remove the trim pieces depending on your vehicle. Here I do have enough room to feed it in behind. Therefore the trim can stay in place. Finally installed the supplied metal clips. This attaches to the strap. While this is hard to see for the front seats, follow the supplied instructions. I will be able to demonstrate this better for the rear seat. To install the headrest covers, simply stretch the elastic over top of the headrest and allow it to retract underneath. Once done, then center up the cover. Moving on to the rear seat. Removing the seat base on most vehicles is usually fairly straightforward. Pull up on the front of the seat base to disconnect the clips. There should be clips on each side. Then pull the seat base out. Now is a good time to clean up any dirt which can accumulate underneath this area. Have the seat facing up and install the seat cover slowly by wrapping it around the one edge. Once it has been fitted around the outside, now you will be able to install the retaining clips on the bottom side. Loop the one side on the strap, then hook the other side on the corresponding strap. Considering this vehicle has seat belt latches through the pockets in the seat, the cover is technically not intended for this style of seat base. When installing these covers, your seat belt latches must be fed between the seat base and seat back. These are the same retaining clips which were installed in the front seats as well, but unfortunately I was unable to show you because it is a hard to reach area. When clipping these straps into place, you must ensure it doesn't hook up on any linkage or clips underneath the seats on both the front and rear. Ensure the cover is centered up. Finally, you'll be left with something such as this. Speeding up the procedure, I have already installed it on the rear back of the seat as well. As mentioned earlier, this vehicle does not have a fold down rear seat, therefore the seat back does need to be removed mechanically. Removal processes will vary between vehicles, but the mounting straps attach in the same manner as the seat base. Also refer to the instructions if needed. Here you are able to see the full transformation after the seat covers have been installed. Now for the coupon code giveaway. Auto Youth has supplied me with 6 coupon codes for $5 off each set. There are two red 9-piece sets, there are two blue 9-piece sets, which are both full sets for the front and rear seats, then also two more coupon codes for the grey 4-piece sets.